niggas be broke and be starving, but still talking shit. What's good, George Boy Terrence Grant? I'm back with a video. We are the greatest squad on YouTube, man. Oh, yeah. I'm back with another story time. I'm back to tell y'all about my first time ever getting surgery. It's not no joke around here. Surgery was something that I did not like at all. And I was young, so you already know. That's something that I did not like at a young age. I'm too young for all that. I'm too young for all that. Pretty much, I had surgery done in my mouth. So I was about five, six, or seven years old. I really don't know the age, but I'm gonna say about five, six, or seven years old. My teeth were like really bad when I was younger. Like my, my gums were like decaying my teeth or something. I don't know what was going on, but this this my, my mouth was all messed up. You know my mouth looked like like this. My mouth looked, every time I talked to you, I would talk like this. Like my teeth were looking like this. You no know, look like the Venus fly traps. That's what I looked like. It was not something pleasant to watch. So anyways, I remember I had went to the dentist, they wanted to go check me out, right? They didn't check me out the normal way. I, I wanna be checked out like a normal dentist should do. You know, open wide, honey. Like, let me see if you got any cavity. No, they did not check me out the normal way. What they did was, they put the, the thing in my mouth to spread my mouth out like this. So I'm sitting here looking like a dang on sinkhole, and they're opening my mouth, they're checking all my mouth, and mind you, my teeth hurt so bad, bro. Like, I had cavities, like, like, all of it, it was just all messed up, man. Baby teeth, my baby teeth were all jacked up. It's not something I wanted to show all the time. I didn't want to show them at all. They hurt so bad, so they're all in it. All my mouth is like touching it and stuff. I'm like, ah, ah, ma, make you stop. Yeah, it didn't work. So anyways, they said I had to get surgery, so yada, 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 we planned the surgery. And then the day of the surgery, I was so scared. Like, I missed school. I, yeah, I was in kindergarten. I missed school and everything. If my mom had woke me up early in the morning, like five o'clock in the morning, my dentist was downtown in Detroit. Yeah, I didn't even know he had a dentist down there. I, I really did not know. I don't even think it still exists, but it was downtown Detroit somewhere. I'm at the dentist's office, right? They had to put me to sleep because I knew I was gonna go crazy. Pretty much what they had me do, they sat me on this chair, right? They sat me on this chair and they sprayed my nose with this, this liquid. Bro, I tell you, bro, whatever liquid that was, it made, like, my nose bleed, and, like, I, I tasted all the blood. I was crying so hard, like, they had to hold me down, and it was, like, it was, like, this, this thingy that they pushed, and it kept switching, and it, it, it was, like, oh, my God, it hurt so bad. I'm going through the pain. They gave me a glass of water to get rid of the blood taste or whatever, so then they, they sent me in front of a TV, so I'm kidding you not. I don't even remember getting a shot or anything, but apparently I did. So they gave me an IV shot, and then I sat in front of a TV looking. And three seconds later, I'm out. I don't even know what happened after that. I just remember that I was out. So I woke up in my car, in my car. I have literally like cotton all in my mouth and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know how cotton. You know what they do after surgery or whatever. They have to put the cotton in your mouth so you don't bleed to death. Cause you don't want to bleed to death from a dang on dentist surgery. Imagine if that's your way out. Like, I don't want to go out from bleeding to death from a dentist surgery because they did not put cotton in my mouth. So I'm over here looking like this. I had no clue what I was saying, but I was saying something. I tell you, this pain was like so bad. Like, that's not something you want to ever go, like the pain, like imagine getting all your teeth pulled after them being sunk into your mouth. All of your teeth, like it was so bad. And then you know, guess what they had the nerve to do? They had the nerve to give me my teeth back after, after they pulled it. So they was like, oh, you know, you want your teeth back, you know, give it to the tooth fairy. I'm not thinking about a tooth fairy. I'm not thinking about a fairy. I'm not even thinking about anything period so literally i'm bleeding all in my mouth they gave me the cotton and they said you know what you gotta rest you gotta rest you gotta rest i had to go to my babysitter's house and spend the rest of the day in my babysitter's house resting crying like a little baby because that joke hurts I, i'm telling you y'all y'all don't understand what i had to go through bro i swear bro i felt like i was tortured i probably was so i hope you guys like that video make sure you hit that thumbs up down below Make sure you punch that subscribe button right there. The red box. It should be red. I mean, unless you're colorblind. I don't know what color it be, but it should say subscribe. Just, just hit it. Just hit it. 
Share it with all your friends. We're the greatest squad on YouTube. And we out. Peace.